I'm gonna share with you my very simple digital persuasion formula that when you walk out of this room, you'll be able to type, text, and tweet more persuasively from your very next message. How does that sound, good? Yeah, let's do it. The biggest mistake that we all don't even know that we're making is that we think the way that we type and the way that we talk are pretty much the same. Offline, tennis match, right? Kind of hit the conversation ball back and forth, get your sweat on, get your steps in, high five, everyone's happy. Online, it's more like our default mode is dear diary, right? We're just like ranting and raving and confessing and obsessing and just yeah, right? Show up and throw up. So because of all these three things, psychologists have found that when we're behind screens, our inhibitions are greatly lowered. You know that when our inhibitions are lowered, we behave in ways we might not be bold, rude, or quite frankly, dumb enough to in real life, right? The truth is, and we all know this to be true, is that persuasion is personal. It's very personal. And so even though we text more than we talk, where we communicate may have changed, but what makes us say yes is the same. So we went to this Irish pub near my house and we were not having any fun. So we uploaded a photo to social media so everyone would think we were having fun. That's what we do, right? And by the way, we all know the actual best nights ever are the ones with little to no photographic evidence. I'm not wrong here. I'm not wrong. Online, all you have are your words to indicate your focus to your audience, to your recipient. If you can flip your words, you can flip your focus. If you can change your focus, you can change their minds. Get it, girl? Um, so we thought of um, no one wants to grow shrooms in their carpet. No one wants to grow shrooms in their carpet. They don't. They don't. <laughs> You're kidding. They're like mine who calls me and just talks and talks, and I don't need to be there even, really. I don't have to respond. I just put her on speakerphone. I let her go nuts. I ignore her. Um, do I feel guilty? You saw the haircut. What do you think? <laughs> nope. Now you know how to make sure that the online you that shows up is as close as possible to the rock star you that shows up every day in the real world. My name is Erin Gargan King. I wish you a game-changing IBS. Thank you guys so much.